reported last week, the median price of a single family home in Hawaii has now reached $750,000, 400 grand for condos. But there is a way to get into the market, even on a beachfront property, for significantly less. But like everything else, if it sounds too good to be true, be careful before you put yourself on the hook for hundreds of thousands of dollars of your money. Imagine living here, a nice one-bedroom beachfront unit right on Kaimana Beach at a price of only $350,000. Ah, but as you might guess, there is one big catch. Yes, it's a uh, leasehold. <laughs> and so we get that question all the time, oceanfront, $350,000. Wow, that's great. What a good steal. Can I go check it out? Well, we say before we check it out, let me just explain to you one thing. We've got leasehold property here, and we've got fee simple property. And that difference could translate into hundreds of thousands, if not a million dollars or more, down the line. The difference in a nutshell is with fee simple property, you own the home as well as the land that it sits on. But with leasehold, you have zero interest in the land, which is often where the bulk of the value is here. For example, let's say the lease term ends in seven years. Basically, the lessor of the property can take over, uh, you know, uh, the, the rights to the property. Of course, there are cases where the lessor chooses to offer the fee. That's when reality sets in. You got to remember now, how do you calculate that fee? Well, they're going to look at the market value of a fee simple property in the area. And many of these fee simple units are going in the multi-million dollar range. So you might be able to walk in there and buy a beautiful oceanfront unit today for $350,000, but seven years from now? Yep, you're talking uh, seven figures. While Locations doesn't generally recommend leasehold properties, they say it can make sense for some people, say a retiree who wants to live the dream of owning a property on the beach and doesn't have any heirs. Another possibility, a long-term lease that doesn't expire for 50, 60, maybe even 70 years. But do know that the lease rent may increase along the way. Well, in Hawaii especially, land is so critical. Um, and that's where the real value of the property is. Um, you, you always want to err on the side of fee simple. But, like I said, we, we have that product here in Hawaii. It's unique to Hawaii, leasehold properties. And for some, it may work. It just depends on your situation. Now, for a very thorough explana explanation of exactly what leasehold property is, and a list of some very attractive leasehold properties on Oahu, Go to our website, a lot of information at khon2.com.